بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد uh, Today we will address uh, the virtues of سورة الكهف uh, There are many virtues for سورة الكهف uh, سورة الكهف is something that uh, is a surah that uh, Almost everybody memorizes because it's uh, recommended to be recited every uh, Friday. Uh, and when one discovers the virtues of it, it, it encourages him or her to uh, recite it and memorize it if he or she don't have it memorized. Uh, in the books of Al-Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet وسلم, was approached by a man uh, who was reciting during the night prayer, Surah Al-Kahf. And then uh, he had his, his horse tied and a cloud descended and came very close. Uh, and it started spinning around him. So his horse started uh, becoming disturbed and almost ran away. So in, in the morning, he went to the Prophet وسلم, and informed him of that. And he said, this is sakina, tranquility, that descended. The scholar said the angels descended and tranquility descended with them. Uh, he said, the, this tranquility descended for the recitation, your recitation of the Quran. Uh, the next virtue is that it will be a source of light on the day of resurrection uh, that will illuminate his path when uh, one needs this light the most. Uh, in the book of Imam Al-Hakim, uh, and it was classified as authentic by Al-Albani, the Prophet wasallam said, whoever recites Surah Al-Kahf, it will be a light for him on the day of judgment from his stance, a distance that is from his stance until Mecca. And uh, in another narration also by Al-Hakim, also classified as authentic by Al-Bani, he وسلم, specified the day. In the first narration, it is reciting Al-Kahf without specification of a certain day. He said, whoever recites Surah Al-Kahf on the day of Friday, and in another narration on the night of Friday. The night of Friday is Thursday after Maghrib. Okay? He said it will uh, illuminate between uh, the distance between him and the ancient house, which is al kaaba this is not the only place where it illuminates his path. It illuminates his path in this life as well. It is a source of light in this life as well. The Prophet wasallam said, and this is reported by Al-Hakim, classified as sound by Al-Albani. He said, whoever recites Surah Al-Kahf on the day of Friday, it will illuminate for him between the two Fridays. So it will illuminate for him a full week. Now as sanani said, it, this light is referring to either light that will illuminate in his heart, light of guidance, or his insight, or all of that together. So it will be a source of guidance, strengthens his insight, improves his comprehension and understanding of this faith, provided that he frequently, every Friday, he recites this surah. The last virtue can be the most important of, of all these virtues. It is a protection against al-Masih al-Dajjal. The Prophet وسلم, said, and this is uh, reported by Al-Hakim, classified as authentic by Al-Albani, who said, he said, whoever recites, 
people of knowledge said means this means whoever memorizes the first uh, the the uh, ten last ten verses of Surah Al Kahf, and then the Dajjal comes out. He will not be able to harm him. Whoever has these last ten verses memorized of Surah Al Kahf, and then a Dajjal shows up, he will not be able to harm him. In the book of Imam Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever memorizes the first 10 verses of Surah Al-Kahf, and in another narration also from the end of Surah Al-Kahf, so now we got two narrations saying that it's from the end, and one narration in Muslim that is saying it is from the beginning. Now this, two of them, one is in Muslim and one is by Al-Hakim. He said he will be protected from the trials and tribulations of al masih al-Dajjal. There is nothing greater than the trials of al masih al-Dajjal. And the Prophet ﷺ told us there was not a prophet except that he warned his people against the trials of al masih al-Dajjal. We ask Allah's protection against these trials. If we happen to be living when he shows up and with this we conclude this session of virtues of Surah Al-Kahf Subhanakallahu wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik